Hello everyone, Jeff with the Green Review. Some determinant vegetables produce a crop all at once and then they're done for the year. Radishes grow for a short time before they start to turn hollow. Each corn plant bears an ear or two and then they're done. To extend crop production over a longer time, plant determinant crops several times, sow the seeds or plant the transplants in the garden every week or two to get new crops over a longer season. Except for areas with very cool or very warm summers, most gardeners can plant several crops in the same location for a spring, summer, and fall garden. To get the most production from the garden space, you can plant early cool season crops, and when they're done, pull them out and plant warm season crops, and finally when they're done, replant cool season crops in the fall. This would be a three season garden. Potential succession crops include broccoli to bush beans, carrots to corn, lettuce or onion sets or radishes to determinate type tomatoes. It's possible to plant rows of green onions, lettuce, radish, and spinach between the widely spaced rows of summer growing tomatoes, peppers, or corn. By the time the warm season crops are filling in, the cool season crops are being removed. The third season fall crops have fewer pest problems and there will be fewer weeds in the garden. With proper planting and good weather, you can have a harvest at Thanksgiving. So what's this mean to me? I've rarely seen any fall crops available as transplants at a garden center in the summer or fall. You'll need to plant them as seeds. Vegetable seeds are also hard to come by in the summer and fall. Plan ahead and purchase the fall seeds in the spring and check with gardening friends to see which seeds they may have saved. Many of these fall vegetables are best started in containers indoors or in the shade outdoors rather than directly in the garden. When they're transplant size, plant them in the garden in the evening and water them well. They may need a shade cloth covering for a week or two until they are acclimated to the heat and the sun. Keep the soil moist until cool fall weather arrives. And another way to do the succession planting is like in this case, when you have large broccoli heads that come up in the spring and you cut them off, instead of removing those broccoli plants for a succession planting of a warm season crop, you can leave the broccoli plants here, they will branch out and they'll have numerous smaller side branches that have the flower clusters. Now these will be smaller flower clusters, they won't be the huge heads, but you can take and harvest all these little small guys off and they can be used in like broccoli cheese soup. So it may take a little longer to go through and harvest these because there's so many instead of just one big one that you just chop into pieces. But it's still another way to do succession planting on the same plant that normally you wouldn't keep. And this is Jeff with a Greener View. Thanks for watching.